It was a night full of prominent speakers at day three of the Democratic National Convention. President Obama, Vice President Joe Biden, and former New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg all took the stage in Philadelphia, making their pitch for Hillary Clinton for president. One America's Chris Pocock has more on Wednesday night's speeches. Democratic heavyweights and gun control advocates took the stage Wednesday as Democrats stumped for Hillary Clinton and spoke against the Republican nominee Donald Trump. Perhaps the first speech to get universal applause from Democrats was former Arizona Representative Gabriel Giffords, who was critically injured from an assassination attempt in 2011. Speaking is difficult for me, but come January, I want to say these two words, Madam President. Later, Vice President Joe Biden spoke glowingly of President Obama, calling him one of the finest presidents ever and saying he was like a brother to him. He also said it was a bittersweet moment, given his late son Bo Biden put his name in for nomination in 2008. Biden later turned to the subject of Hillary Clinton, who he served with in the Senate, repeating that he knows Hillary Clinton. I've known Hillary for well over 30 years. Everybody knows she's smart. Everybody knows she's tough, but I know what she's passionate about. I know Hillary. He then went after Donald Trump, who he accused of seeking to divide America for his own gain and betting against America and ordinary people. He's trying to tell us he cares about the middle class. Give me a break. That's a bunch of malarkey. Later, the billionaire and former New York City mayor Michael Bloomberg spoke, saying that while he didn't back either party, he believes Hillary Clinton is the right choice for office, despite her flaws. Bloomberg repeatedly went after Trump's business record, saying he's left behind dozens of bankruptcies and thousands of lawsuits and disgruntled workers. Trump says he wants to run the nation like he's running his business? God help us. I'm a New Yorker, and I know a con when I see one. Just after 10 p.m. Eastern Time, VP pick Tim Kaine took the stage, formally accepting the official nomination for vice president. He then talked about his upbringing and his faith, saying both are what led him to social service. I went to a um, Jesuit boys' high school, Rockers High School. Wow, that's, that's a big line for the Jesuits. Now, now we, had a, we had a motto in my school, men for others. And, and it was there that my faith became something vital, my North Star for orienting my life. And when I left high school, I knew that I wanted to battle for social justice. He also spoke about gun control and about expanding checks as governor following the Virginia Tech massacre. Kane kept the speech fairly light, avoiding targeting Trump for most of the process. Delivering the Keystone Address on day three was President Obama. Obama began by listing his administration's accomplishments and said that more than ever, he is optimistic about this nation's future. He also spoke about their history together in politics, including their divisive primary battle and her time as Secretary of State. That experience, Obama said, makes her ready to take over the position on day one. That is the Hillary I know. That's the Hillary I've come to admire. And that's why I can say with confidence, there has never been a man or a woman, not me, not Bill, nobody, more qualified than Hillary Clinton to serve as President of the United States of America. He also argued that Clinton already has experience fighting terrorism, mentioning, for one of the few times of the convention, the fight against the Islamic State. And I know Hillary won't relent until ISIL is destroyed. She will finish the job. And she will do it without resorting to torture or banning entire religions from entering our country. She is fit and she is ready to be the next commander in chief. But he also wasn't afraid to acknowledge Clinton's flaws. Look, Hillary's got her share of critics. She has been caricatured by the right and by some on the left. She has been accused of everything you can imagine and some things that you cannot. 
But she knows that's what happens when you're under a microscope for 40 years. She knows that sometimes during those 40 years, she's made mistakes, just like I have, just like we all do. That's what happens when we try. That's what happens when you're the kind of citizen Teddy Roosevelt once described. Not the timid souls who criticize from the sidelines, but someone who is actually in the arena. Following Obama's speech, Clinton joined the president on stage, ending night three of the DNC with a hug and a wave to her supporters. Chris Pocock, One American News.